Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I found this week at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. at the Goodwill Outlet Bins, I do feel like things are slowing down a little in the thrifting world. I don't know if like that, you know, um, spring cleaning fever, people cleaning things out and getting rid of stuff has slowed down a little, but I have not been finding as much um, anywhere that I've gotten, whether it be regular thrift stores or at the bins. So I'm going to show you what I got, but just know that it's not the... Um, the same kind of like wonder <laughs> that I was finding like a month ago. So, okay, so to start, I got this um, Spode Christmas tree plate and I actually picked this up for a friend. Um, she has a collection from her mother-in-law, my friend Tammy, she has shown up and will show up in other videos. Um, she has a collection from her mother-in-law that she's saving for her daughter. And so I got this so that she could add it. And here it is out of its box. It's in great shape, no chips or anything. So I'm gonna give that to her for her collection. Okay, then someone was clearly cleaning out their, or their mother's, I don't know, um, like sewing bin. And I got a bunch of vintage trims. Um, one of, this is one of my favorites, I swear. This is, this is my childhood. This sums up my childhood in the late 70s and early 80s. So I really like that one. And then there's just, there's lots of different um, colors and I really like this gray lace. That's pretty. So lots of different things here. And this seamstress was just meticulous about how she kept her things. Look at those pins. I am not that neat. I will tell you the, the truth of the matter is that Nicole is not that neat with my crafting items. I'm trying, I'm trying to be a little neater though. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of those. Oh, and everything I found, I'm everything that I'm showing you cost me, I think it was $21.17. I got this for my collection. It's a little vintage kitchen tool, maybe like a melon baller, I was thinking. Uh, you know, I love the wooden colored handles. I got these two trays. I love these. They're um, Courier Knives, American Homestead. This one is winter. And this one is autumn. So this is definitely going in my fall decor. These are for my personal collection. Really like those a lot. I also got this to sell. I have sold one of these already on eBay. People really like these like talon tongs. They're ice tongs. Um, these are probably just chrome. These are not marked Japan. The other ones I sold were marked Japan. So I'm just gonna see if, you know, throw them up there and see if someone wants them for their collection. Okay, I got these to sell. They're just vintage um, fondue forks. I'm pretty sure there's probably supposed to be a sixth one. I could not find it anywhere. They say stainless steel. I cannot read what that other word is. Oh dear, nope, can't read it. Uh, I'll have to pull out my magnifier, which I don't have right now. Anyway, so five vintage fondue forks. These, um, I've seen that these sell. I mean, I'm not gonna you know, sell them for a ton, but. Well, people like them because they're, you know, from that era. Okay, then I also found some things for the craft room redo. I got this little trinket dish. I think it's really pretty. It says something, it's like a name and then Italy. So, and this is the front. So I thought that was really pretty. I'll just set it on a shelf somewhere in here. I got three of these knobs, which, and I actually already put one on my dresser. So, well, this vintage, um, I have my grandmother's vintage vanity going in this craft room re redo, and it has knobs on it. We got them at like Home Depot a few weeks back, and these are not vintage, I don't think. Um, I actually found something similar online. Um, these look older than the ones online, so I don't know. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to buy a fourth. I can get it on Etsy for about $5.00. And then I'll replace the knobs on my vanity with these. So that's what I'm planning for those. I'm interrupting the video to show you what the knob looks like on the vanity. I really like it. I think I'm definitely going to order the fourth one. 
Also, this is authentic chippiness happening here. <laughs> I'm not going to repaint the vanity, but I really do like how that looks. Okay, now back to the rest of my haul. Okay, these I found to sell. They say MJ Hummel is the picture on here. Oops, I should hold them up while I read. Authentic Hummel Pepper Shaker. Um, there are lots of letters, something Switzerland made in Japan. So I thought those were cute. And for someone who's like a Hummel collector, maybe they would want them. I don't know. If not, that's fine. I probably didn't pay very much for them. And it was a Hummel kind of week because I also found her. It's a little Hummel figurine. It says Goebel, Gable, I don't know how to say that word, West Germany. Oops, oh, the glare is so bad. Well, you'll just have, oh, there it is, there it is. Sort of. The sun is, the sun is wonderful and coming into my room, but it makes filming a little difficult. But anyway, there's the mark. Um, she's really cute. And she does have one little, like her, the tiniest little chip on her braid. So I'll just close that, but you know, if someone wants it for cheap, it's fine with me. Um, and it, I can't really see, it might say HE83, I think there's, oh, there, look, look, we can see it now. If I hold it in the shade, there's a little mark and it says something, some kind of initial and 83. So I don't know what that means, but I thought she was cute. And it says little helper on her. I got two vintage linens. I got this one for Christmas time. I love these vintage dishcloths. This one has a little bit of staining on it, but nothing major. I already washed it and I really love the print. It's really pretty. So that'll be nice at Christmas time. I'm trying to find more of these. Um, that's something I don't have a lot of, but, and I'm going to use it because I had a conversation on, you know, on YouTube with someone who said that she collects, you know, vintage dishcloths. And I was like, well, do you just display them? And she's like, well, I use them because who else wants them? And that's so true. It's like, it's not like my children are going to want these things. So I might as well use them and enjoy them. So I've decided to start looking for these or looking for tablecloths, which I can make into vintage dishcloth, you know, from the vintage um, fabric. So, and then I also got this and you're going to laugh because it's kind of Pepto-Bismol pink. I, I am aware, but I'm putting this in here. Um, I already washed it. It smells wonderful. And you know, the bedding in here is going to be all white. So I think this will look really nice on the end of the bed. And it'll look just like something grandma would have made to throw on the end of the bed to give a little coziness. So I think it's going to be wonderful despite the color. Trust me on this one. So, <laughs> okay. Then the next item is probably my personal favorite for the week. It's this little dish. I think it's like that silver crest or at least it looks like it. It doesn't matter to me if it actually is. I'm going to put it with um, the little basket that looks similar that I got from my friend's mother who passed away. I don't know if you remember that from a few videos back, but I think it's just really pretty. And that's, I mean, someone obviously selling it at their yard sale and I am happy to res have rescued it from destruction at the bins. So that was a cool find. Okay, and then... <laughs> Um, because I like random salt and pepper shakers. That's a thing now. Uh, I found this one. This one I'm definitely using. Miss Stone Home used one and she made like a little person out of it and she used that as the cap. And so I'm definitely going to do that with this. Um, it, it's etched, but I'll probably fill it with like, I don't know, Christmas, little Christmas, those tiny, um, uh, mercury beads or some bells or something and maybe make a little Santa out of that. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And then I got... Oh, <laughs> I'm selling this on eBay. We bought one on eBay a few months ago because ours broke and I paid $30 for it. So um, I have to test it out first, but this is this is the one we bought, which is kind of frustrating. But, you know, whatever. It's OK. Um, maybe someone else needs one. So um, and I think it was like the shipping and, you know, the total of it was $30 and that was with the shipping. So I'm going to test it out. And if it works, I'm going to sell it on eBay and try to recoup some of what I spent on the one that we bought a few months ago. Okay. And then I got two more things. I got this, which I'm going to use for my scrapbooking weekends. You know, I go scrapbooking with a bunch of moms and this is going to be great. I can put my pen containers and all my cutters and all the different things. It's going to be, make um, taking my tools to these weekends a lot easier. So that'll be good. And then I can just like sit it on the table and not have to like unpack and repack everything when we're done. 
And then I got this, which I love. And I think I'm going to use, I'm not sure. I might use it in my bathroom. I've been looking for something to kind of corral the things on my bathroom counter. Um, and I was going to use that little spinning um, spice rack thing, but then I made it into a spice rack and I really like that in my kitchen. So this is take two. I might spray paint it because um, I don't do black in my bathroom down there. Although I have been thinking of incorporating some black metal. So I, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know when I decide. Um, but that's what I'm thinking right now. And it's really nice. Um, these are expensive. So I was happy to find that. All right, that's all that I have for you today from the Goodwill Outlet Bins. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. And that's where I'll post things that I find at the Goodwill Bins before I show them here on a video or things that I leave behind. So if that interests you, I would love for you to also find me there. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.